charges in connection to the death of Breonna Taylor. The Justice Department indicted former current Louisville Police Sergeant Kyle Meany, as well as former officers Joshua Jaynes, Kelly Goodlett, and Brett Hankinson. Now, the state jury previously found Hankinson not guilty of endangerment in Taylor's death. The charges claim that officers falsified documents to get a search warrant of Taylor's home, violating civil rights laws. Taylor was shot and killed by Louisville officers who they executed while they executed a search warrant, and her boyfriend shot him. Them. Day, the U.S. Justice Department has charged four current and former Louisville, Kentucky police officers in connection to the death of Breonna Taylor. Taylor was shot and killed by police officers in her apartment during a botched raid in 2020. Attorney General Merrick Garland announced the charges earlier today, and they include civil rights offenses, unlawful conspiracies, and unconstitutional use of force. Attorney General Garland says that the officers should have never been mm. at Taylor's apartment. The federal charges announced today allege that members of the place-based investigations unit falsified the affidavit used to obtain the search warrant of Ms. Taylor's home, that this act violated federal civil rights laws, and that those violations resulted in Ms. Taylor's death. The AG said one more thing. Brianna Taylor should be alive today. Let's bring in Vice News correspondent Roberto Ferdman. He has been covering this story since May of 2020. Roberto, welcome. It's good to have you here. Thank you for having me. It's good to be here. I want to start with your, just your reaction. You've been on the ground. You've been covering it nonstop. Just your reaction to this news. My reaction is, uh, finally, we've been waiting on the results, or at least some results from this DOJ investigation for more than two years now, or almost two years, I should say. Um, so I think it's important to view this as the start of what's likely going to be a series of charges that are brought, because as Merrick Garland made clear in the press conference earlier today, the DOJ investigation is still ongoing, and they're conducting a thorough investigation into all sorts of different practices by the police department there. So you spent a lot of time, as we established, covering this what do you think this does in terms of the charges causing maybe more problems or more issues that will arise out of this? The significance of uh, these charges are many fold. On the one hand, they are accusing the team that conducted the investigation of falsifying information that led them to Brianna Taylor's apartment. They go as far as to allege that there was a meeting that happened afterward between two officers, Joshua James and Kelly Hannah Goodlett, where they discussed getting on the same page and sharing a false story. Um, but the other part of this that I think is significant and important not to overlook is that Brett Hankison is being charged by the federal government for uh, something very similar to which he was charged and acquitted for at the state level. So I think the federal government in some ways is coming in and saying not enough of a thorough job was done at the local level and the state level, and we're stepping in to write what uh, what they view as a, as a wrong. 